Circular economy, agriculture can no longer grow waste. Nature of the problem. Since the 1950s, agricultural production has grown exponentially thanks to the exploitation of high yielding crops, synthetic fertilizers, pesticides, and agricultural machinery. These innovations have drastically altered what some consider should otherwise be an inherently regenerative industry, being food part of nature. Today, the amount of energy required to sustain our diets is astonishing, as well as the amount of food that gets thrown away together with the plastic that contains it. But let's analyze the current take, make, waste economic model in details. Take. A vast amount of finite resources is extracted from the earth. 41 rocks, minerals, Minerals and elements serve the five major agricultural uses, which include fertilizers, pesticides, herbicides, and fungicides, physical soil amendments, animal and poultry feeds, food storage, and processing. Make. Most agricultural activities are powered by fossil fuels and plagued by an inefficient utilization of inputs that escalates even further the requirement of natural resources. If that wasn't enough, water pollution is another major challenge, deeply aggravated by the poor management management of byproducts generated during food processing, distribution, and packaging. Waste. Europe alone generates some 700 million tons of agri-food waste each year. That translates in approximately one-third of what is produced for human consumption. And where does all that waste go to? Only 2% of valuable biological nutrients in food byproducts and organic waste is composted or otherwise valorized, while a significant portion of the rust is often released untreated, damaging the environment and threatening life. Problem quantification. For every calorie consumed in the U.S., the equivalent energy of 13 calories of oil is burned to produce it. Such a low energy return on investment is what makes the agri-food industry accountable for a quarter of human-caused greenhouse gas emissions yearly. And it is not just about the air. Inefficiency and malpractice are also responsible for 70% of deforestation and freshwater demand worldwide. Circular practices tackling the linear paradigm. Significant opportunities exist to innovate across the agri-food supply chain, making practices more efficient and less resource intensive. Design. Meat production is not sustainable to feed a growing population. As our consumption per capita will have to diminish drastically, new plant-based proteins could represent a viable alternative. While harvesting insects for human consumption could eventually be become trendy, entomophagy also concerns feeding insects to animals. In this sense, animal husbandry could benefit from the ability that insects have to turn low-grade food waste into valuable high-end proteins and fats. Studying processes to treat a variety of food waste and byproducts can result in attaining valuable ingredients for new recipes. Sourcing. The use of precision agricultural and farming techniques can greatly minimize the amount of external inputs. Regenerative agriculture Cultural practices can restore soil fertility, sequester carbon, protect watersheds, and facilitate biodiversity. They include shifting from synthetic to organic fertilizers, using greater crop variation, and employing rotational crop and grazing. Favoring local produce reduces the need for excess packaging and shortens distribution supply chains. Besides better interaction with producers in the para-urban and rural surroundings, development of circular urban farming systems is often welcomed by city residents. Sale. The adoption of blockchain technology is improving the traceability of food and therefore transparency and safety. Similarly, the use of artificial intelligence in supply chain management means safer transport from the field to the shelf. End of life. Inevitable byproducts like nitrogen and phosphorus should be used at their highest value. Unavoidable bio waste can be valorized within the agricultural system as fertilizers or to produce Produce energy and chemicals for the water bioeconomy. In this sense, cities can be centers where food byproducts are transformed into biofuels, organic fertilizers, biomaterials, or even medicines. Finally, advanced technologies are being developed for the exploitation and treatment of agro-industrial wastewaters and animal effluents. Business and policy advice. Recommendations to business. Learn how to reduce all avoidable agri-food waste. Find use for all unavoidable waste. Get in touch with a growing number of health-conscious consumers who are demanding organic produce, alternative sources of proteins, and less dairy
dairy products, recommendations to government, drive county level policies to promote large scale ecological regeneration programs aimed at degraded grasslands, encourage collaboration between local organic producers with conscientious food brands, retailers, restaurants, consumers, waste managers, and other urban food actors. Be careful to avoid a biased emphasis on waste use versus system efficiency. 